Hi, and in today's Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to show you how to put headers and footers on any page in your document. So you don't have to have them across the whole document or just on page one or starting from page two. And it's quite a simple process when you know what you're doing. So here's my document. Don't worry about the fact that it's quite small at the moment because you just need to see which page I'm placing bits and pieces on. I will zoom in and out so you will be able to see clearly what I'm doing. So I've got a six page document here and I just want to put the headers on page three, four and five. So the first thing I need to do is to go up to the home tab and I'm going to switch on this little icon here. And this is the formatting marks. And this is quite important so that we can see what we're doing. The second thing I need to do is to go to the page before I want my header or footer, go to the very bottom of that page and click my cursor, as you can see here, then go up to layout, then go to breaks, click on the drop down, go to section breaks and go to next page. This must be a section break and click. And as you can see, there is a section break at the bottom. And what this is telling Word to do is to separate your document out into different sections. I then need to go to the end of my section, which for me will be this page here, because I want my header on page three, four and five. So go to the end of page five, click my cursor, go back up to layout, breaks, click on the drop down and select section break. So now that second section break appears down here. It may not say section break but you can just see it by these little crosses here. So what that has now told Word is that I have my first section here, a second section here on page three, four and five and then another section which is the rest of my document. Now I can format just this section here. Now I'm going to access my headers and footers by simply taking my cursor to the bottom of my page within my section and double clicking. Now you can tell if you've done it correctly because this should say footer section 1, footer section 2 and footer section 3 and likewise header section 1, header section 2 and header section 3. Now what we want to do is to place some information in our header or our footer or both but we need to unlink it with the previous section. So here it says same as previous so whatever I put into here let's just put section break you can see it's across my document that's not what we want so let's delete that. Now to unlink our section 2 from section 1 just ensure you're on the header and footer ribbon and go to link to previous. Now that's currently greyed out so click on it and as soon as you do it'll no longer be greyed out and the same as previous has disappeared. Likewise we need to unlink section 3 and section 2. Click in section 3, go back up to link to previous and click. Again it's no longer greyed out and the same as previous has disappeared. So now when we go to section two and we type in section break, you can see that my header has only applied to these three pages. Now the footers are exactly the same, but they're a separate entity. So again, they're saying same as previous for all of the sections and we just need to unlink them. So again, click in section 2, go to link to previous and uncheck that element, go to section 3 so you can get rid of this same as previous, uncheck it again and then again if we type you can see that that only applies to these three pages. And that's how you can put headers and footers on any page. Now if you've made a mistake or you want to do things differently, sometimes it can be a little bit tricky getting rid of these section breaks. 
All you need to do is double click back out of your headers and footers, hold the command or control key down on your keyboard and click on your section break. I will highlight your section break and all you have to do is delete it. Now as you can see once you delete that section break your headers and footers will apply to the whole of that section because there's no longer a section break. But you can see at the end because we still have a section break here, can't quite see the written words here but you can see the little icons and this page no longer has this information in it in its headers and footers. If you want to go back just press command or control Z the section break will be reintroduced and again your footers and headers will be just in this second section. Of course if you want two sections then you can divide up your document in the same way. So let's take out the section breaks, command or control hit that section break and press delete and then let's say for example we want a piece of information a header and footer on page one and two and then we want a different header and footer on page five and six. So we'll go down to the bottom of page two, go to layout, breaks, section break, then we'll go to the bottom of page four because we want a section break between these two pages, click up to layout, breaks, section break and then double click in our headers and footers. So now we need to unlink them again. So go down to the bottom, link to previous, down to the bottom of section three, link to previous. Again we can do that with the headers, take out the link to previous and again section three linked to previous. So now let's go to page one and we'll put in section break and you can see that applies to page one and two and then in section three let's put a footer section break and you can see that our footer is different for section three. And Just to prove that the headers work let's put in section 3 header. So you can see now in my document I've got a different footer for page 5 and 6, I've got a different header on page 5 and 6, I don't have any headers and footers for page 3 and 4 and I've got a different header for page 1 and 2. So all this is about is dividing up your document into different sections and you can literally have as many different sections, headers and footers that you like. This is a really good technique for also starting your page numbers at different points. So let's just show you that quickly. If I just take out this footer here and let's just say that I wanted to start my page numbers from page three and I'm going to make that simple because obviously we've split the document into two different sections here. Now in order that my page numbers run continually through my document I'm going to have to link these two sections here or I just take out the section break here. But of course if I want a different header I still have to have a section break here. So all I need to do to make sure that my page numbers continue is to link these two sections. So again in reverse if we put our cursor at the bottom of section 3 here at the footer and go up to link to previous but this time we need to switch it on. And you'll get this small dialog box. Do you want to delete this header and footer and connect to the header and footer in the previous section? Yes, I do. And again, the same as previous will appear again. So if I want my page numbers to start here, I simply click in this page in the footer. And then because we're still on the header and footer tab, within the ribbon, it's got page numbers. Click on the drop down and you can just simply put in your page number or you can go and format your page numbers. So just click page number. And then let's just put that page number to the center. Let's just select show number on first page. 
and click OK. Now, as you can see, my page numbers have started from page three and have continued throughout my document. Now, at the moment, they've started from number three, but if you didn't want it to start from number three and you wanted it to start from number one, let's just go back up, Command or Control Z to undo that, go to page number, click on page number, go to center and click format. Now by default, continue from previous section is selected. Just click at start at and then choose number one and click OK. Then click OK again. And you can now see that my page numbers begin from number one on page three. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.